I bought eight slow cookers and crock pots so you don't have to with my best crock pot guide and my best slow cooker review for you. Let's go ahead and dive in. All of the crock pots and slow cookers I'm going to be talking about will be in the description link below. Go ahead and check all those out. Let's dive into our first one. Coming in at number one out of my entire eight slow cooker and crock pot list is the crock pot lunch. <laughs> if you've not heard of this one, my friends, it is a must have. I, I bought it last year and it actually sold out. It sold out and uh, I went back and I bought it in pink, which is called blush. But I ended up buying my boy wanted this for school because you can put in here soups, stews, leftovers, the interior, this part right here, dishwasher safe. It is really, really, really easy to be able to dishwash with it. It has on here the cord down below. Do not throw that away. <laughs> You're going to need that to have it stay heated, but this crock pot is ranking in at number one. Now you're going to need to stay till the end. I've got a surprise twist for you, but you'll have to wait till the end to see what that is with my slow cooker guide and crock pot guide here. So this is coming on as best of just because it's so handy. It's so easy. You can use leftovers. Think of how much money you're going to save by using this. Um, one of um, my Amazon live deals of the day show I did yesterday, one of our awesome viewers was like, hey, Elizabeth, I'm a healthcare worker and uh, this is huge for me. I can bring in my lunch as a healthcare worker. If you're going back to the office or if your partner or your kids or things like that, this is a great one to get. It's actually right now on sales. Now, obviously with crock pots on Amazon, prices are subject to change, but I do have that deal of the day listed down below if you are wanting to save some money. Let's go over to our next one, which is going to be our crock pot coming in at number two on my crock pot guide and my uh, slow cooker guide is actually going to be the crock pot. This was the large one. It is the eight quart, which is huge, by the way, in terms of size. It's the eight quart programmable slow cooker. And the reason why I have this ranked as number two of my best of guide for slow cookers and crock pots is because of the size. We have used this over and over and over for years uh, because of the ease of using it. A, it's programmable, so you can put in, uh, if you're leaving the house, you can program it to stop at a certain time. You can schedule it in the morning to start at a certain time. It most, makes the most amazing soups, sauces. You can cook a whole chicken in there, uh, a whole roast. It feeds up to 10 people. And that's one of the reasons why I like this is if you do have a larger family. We have a family of three, but I've used this so much because I'll make a ton of leftovers with it. And it's really, really easy to clean that stoneware and the glasses, of course, dishwasher safe because your girl, Countess of Shopping, does not wash dishes by hand. <laughs> so this is really easy to put in there. Um, I also like it too because it has on there that morning setting. So if you want to do a breakfast casserole, you can get it all set set up because of the programmable component on there too, which is really, really nice. So that is my rank number two. Um, and it comes in the black and stainless steel. I think they may have other colors, but more so the size on it is why it's coming in so big. In terms of the dimensions on your countertop, it is a premium of 15 inches by 15 inches, um, 15 inches wide by 15 inches tall. So think about that with your, your cabinets of fitting it underneath the cabinet if you feel so inclined. This has saved us a ton of money because I can make pulled pork. Um, at the holidays, I can use it for different, like I've just used it a bunch because of the eight quart size, which is kind of hard to find with some of the other uh, slow cookers. Next up, I've got not a crock pot. I've actually got a slow cooker from Hamilton Beach. Hamilton Beach is coming in at number three. It's actually number two for the largest size. This one's going to be the six quart set and forget. The reason why I like this one is the price variation. This one's rocking in, um, if you compare the two prices, depending on sales, it's approximately around the same ballpark, but it has more bells and whistles, which is hard to believe than the crock pot. First, it's got that locking lid. You'll see on the side of it right there. The side hinges of it will lock. So if you are traveling, if you're taking this, you know, to grandma's house or no, I don't know. If you're traveling with it, it's nice to be able to lock together um, the lid on there. It's got that lock lid on there. Dishwasher safe, but it's got a probe. Yes, my friends, it literally comes with a probe. And this is where if you defrost meat, the first setting is to defrost the meat. And then the second setting will be it will slow cook and cook the meat on there. But I love it because the probe in there will also tell you if you've cooked your meat to the right temperature. Are you poisoning yourself? <laughs> You had food poisoning once, you know, to use a probe to check that one out. Uh, but I love this one just because it's easy. It's got the probe. It has the defrost option. So you can put literally frozen meat in there. It's intended for that purpose to be able to thaw it and then actually cook it. It has on there the keep warm display. They all have the low 
high and keep warm for all the ones I'm talking about today. Um, but it also does have that probe in there. It's got that gasket type lid on there. Um, you can use it for a programmable. So if you want to do like I do and like have it start or stop at certain times, you can do that. And then it also does have like manual mode. So you can use either depending on what, what your fancy is. Of course, the stoneware and the glass lid are dishwasher safe because your girl doesn't want to do things with that's hardcore with cleaning. It is, um, in terms of price point, comparable, not slightly more because of the probe versus the first the, or the second one we talked about was the, was the Crock-Pot 8 quart, the one that we just did. So that was Hamilton Beach, um, Hamilton Beach 6 quart. That's going to feed around eight people, seven, eight people, depending. So just something to keep in mind in terms of your feeding people amounts. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I bump up to the Crock-Pot 8 quart because that Crock-Pot 8 quart does feed 10 people. Uh, the Crock-Pot, or excuse me, the Hamilton Beach 6 quart feeds, you know, seven to eight people approximately. Let's go over to our next one, which is going to be the Crock-Pot Manual 7 Quart. Bum, bum, bum. We're going down in quart sizes, as you can see. This is manual. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of manual, but this is one of the Amazon Crock-Pot bestsellers and one of the Amazon uh, slow cooker bestsellers, which is why I bought it. I want to review for you whatever people are trending towards. I want to try and test and give you my honest opinion. I don't love the manual component of it because that means I have to be home at a certain time. So if you are not doing this when you're home and frequently with our schedules in my household, we leave and come back. And so I love a programmable slow cooker because I can leave and come back and not have to worry about like overcooking or things like that. So for this one with the seven quart from Crock-Pot, uh, this one has the manual setting on there with, of course, uh, it's going to feed nine people and it has on there the seven pound roast with the nine people. I would question if that's more like eight people just to give some context. I said the last one with the Hamilton Beach was similar. And so just to give some context with that, the, the Hamilton Beach six quart, I said fit, fit around eight people. This is the Crock-Pot manual that feeds, Crock-Pot saying it feeds nine people. So I'm going to go with what Crock-Pot's toting on there. The oval size on there too, it cooks all day while you are away. Just make sure you're back by the time that it has it. Um, and it uses less um, energy than con conventional ovens. So something you need to think about in terms of like your electric bill, it's electric. Uh, that energy usage um, is less than a conventional oven with it. Um, I just am not a huge fan of manual slow cookers. I, I really do love the crop, the, but the price that, it, let's go back over to price real fast. That price point, like half, half the price of a programmable. So depending on what you're looking for, I do know a lot of people use the seven quart manuals, um, as a second backup for crock pots or slow cookers. Um, if you're doing meal prep. So it's great to, I have it as a second one. I use it cause I'm there with, I'm doing, um, if I need more space in my crock pot, uh, for, meal prep, it's a nice one to be able to have. Okay, I'm going small, small, small. This is a 1.5 quart. <laughs> I had to go small, but the price knocked my socks off. It's 1.5 quarts. It's from Elite Gourmet. Again, all of these will be linked down in the description link below if you do feel so inclined to get any of them. Um, they're really easy for one or two people with that one quart on there. You can make soups buffalo chicken wing dip those meatballs have you ever been to a party where someone has those delicious jelly meatballs this is the great thing that you can take with it because the price is ridiculously cheap <laughs> it's cheaper than going out like it's like the price point of going out to mcdonald's for two or three people like this is when i bought mine i was like that is a crazy good price so i'm linking them all down below if you want to check them out but you can make soups stews sauces um, just, it's, it's a really easy thing to make dishes in. And if you want to take it to work with you, you can tell that it's obviously different than the electric, um, lunch, the crock pot electric lunch, but it's the manual setting on there too. And the lid and the stoneware is dishwasher safe. It's obviously 1.5 quarts. Now I've got a three quart option for you from crock pot. So we vacillate. That was for the elite gourmet 1.5 quart. This is the crock pot, crock pot three quart. It has on there that amazing stoneware and the lid, of course, um, which is great and super helpful, but it's got the bigger size. The next one we also have is going to be a two quart. So depending on how many people you want to feed or how big, I like personally um, the three quart, this one, the crock pot three quart versus the 1.5 quart or the two quart, just because the price 
is very similar from this one versus the two quarts. So I'm like, might as well get the extra quart in there. It's great for parties. It's great for hosting. I have done a hot cocoa bar with this. I've also done an apple cider bar for parties with this. Um, I've done a soup bar with this. It makes it easy to be able to serve a bunch of people. And that's why I do have so many of these small ones because I'll use them at the holiday season so much. It's worth its weight in gold for me. Um, and then also too, if for like my kid and like if it's just, if I just want to make something quick for my son and I, sometimes the count gets a little bit <laughs> short change but the price point on this one is great but it is manual so these are manual something to think about when I bought them um, um, that was just something that most of these small ones there's really not programmable ones for the 1.5 quart 2 quart 3 quart at least I didn't purchase them in my quest of my slow cooker guide and um, Amazon crock pot guide. So this is the crock pot two quart. You'll notice the two variations. The other one was stainless steel. This one is fully black. Uh, the other one, I guess, was stainless steel with black. This one is fully black. So if that matters to you for your appliances uh, to make them uh, all match, some people really care about that. I personally don't. Uh, I cared more about the price point on it. And so this price versus is nominal. It's around the 10-ish dollar price variation, 7-ish dollar price variation from two quarts to three quarts with the crock pot and prices of course are always subject to change same bells and whistles as the previous one it's just two quarts versus the three quarts makes great soups sauces entertaining parties in terms of like a big meal are you going to be able to put a roast or a chicken in there not really could you put a chicken breast in there and make some shredded buffalo chicken dip of course, you totally could. And make me some extra too, by the way. The Countess of Shopping would like some of those extras. So those are my rankings on all of them. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised. Glad I spent all this money on all these different slow cookers and crock pots to test the best ones. You'll say, Elizabeth, Countess of Shopping, you reviewed seven. You said you bought eight. I did. There's an eighth one that I don't do reviews of where I'm disparaging or I feel very strongly and not talking negatively about a brand. I just don't do that here. Uh, it's, I just don't do that. So there is an eighth one I did purchase. I'm not going to mention it. I'm not going to talk about it, but know that I did heavily do my research on this video. Um, I've been doing this for the last year. No joke. If you saw last uh, fall, um, I've been re researching and testing these. There's an eighth one. So I'm not talking about that one. And But if you see the ones that I have listed down below, you will know out of strength and integrity and my pocketbook that they're ones that I believe in that I'm recommending to you for your hard-earned dollars that I believe in and that I bought personally uh, to use and test and, and use meal, a lot of meals with and entertaining with too. So if you found this video helpful, one, smash that like button. Two, here at Countess of Shopping, we do we do like Marvel Easter eggs. I like to see who stays till the end. So if you have stayed till the end, I want you to put a bunny rabbit emoji down listed below. You're like, what is she talking about? That means I will know that you stayed till the end. I will pray over you. I will send you lots of positivity and um, I'll get to know your name too here at the Countess of Shopping community. I do know who comments and I, I do read all the comments. I may not reply to all of them, but I do read all of them. And so I will send you lots of positivity. If you put a little bunny rabbit emoji, number two, I would love to know if you have other suggestions I missed. Um, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I did thoroughly do my research, but I'm always open to trying and doing a part two or testing other products. Do you want me to buy another set of seven or eight of something else? Let me know in the comments. I would I would love to know. I would love to know. Tell me. I'm, I'm open to hearing uh, what else I should be testing uh, for you. And I'm happy to buy the money and, and be the guinea pig for you to learn more of what best kitchen tools, having lost 80 pounds so far with my Manjaro weight loss, um, I've been loving doing meal prep. And if you are on the Manjaro or we go via Terra's Appetite or Semi-Glutides, of course, I do have a uh, free encouragement group linked down below and then also our free Manjaro Weight Loss Success Checklist and 125 protein ideas listed down below. So click that follow button, click subscribe. Uh, that way you can get more of the content. If you like this video, it will tell YouTube to show you more videos just like this and it will appear on your page and in your algorithm by clicking subscribe that you, hey, I like the Countess of Shopping stuff. YouTube's gonna show you more of it. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious. Have a great day, friends. See you next time.